anime and beer here. Like I told you guys, this is going to be a two-parter. Um, this is the One Piece chapter. Um, One Piece chapter 302. Um, the Wrong Way to Put Out a Fire, part two. Back in part one, it was pretty much Dobby telling the story of him as a child wanting to be his, being in good graces with his dad. And uh, just wanting to be the greatest hero for his dad to surpass all might. But of course, with Dobby's quirk um, or Toya, depends on how you what you want to call him. His power is fire, but his body is suited for ice. Um, so pretty much as he uses his power, he's destroying himself. And his father just endeavor just put into his head that you have to be the greatest, you have to be the greatest, you have to be the greatest. But when Endeavor saw the setbacks to his son's quirk, it just kind of like, yeah, you can't be the greatest, you can't be the greatest. But Endeavor already set that flame under Toya and pretty much just set a series of effects that pretty much affected the present day. Um, this video is probably not going to be that long. I mean, I'm just going to say it. I mean, how long does it? How I mean, how long does the video have to be just to say Endeavor's a is a huge douche? Um, pretty everything. This whole thing, everything leading up to now is Endeavor's fault. I'm saying it. I'm not afraid to say it. Endeavor. This is Endeavor's fault. Um. But we're going to go straight into the video, um, or straight into the chapter, because uh, at the end of the last chapter, we see where Toya lunges at Rey and Shoto and his brother and sister, and that was the end of that chapter. Now, in the beginning of this chapter, Endeavor pretty much laid down the law, we're going to keep Shoto away from everybody, pretty much so they can train him, so he can train him, and whatnot, and in the panel, you see that his left arm he's wearing a long sleeve shirt but from like the elbow down it's like ripped so I'm pretty sure that Endeavor somehow stopped Toya and Toya did something to maybe sear off his arm it really isn't shown in the chapter what happened you just see it so it's kind of implied um but you get this cute little panel of Shoto you really don't know what he's doing he's sleeping but there's like a bubble kind of out, coming out of his nose and I think it might be an ice bubble like it's a snot bubble But I think there's ice coming off of it because it's coming out of his right nostril and that's his eye side so I think He's blowing snot bubbles and they're like cold. So that's kind of cute there. So that's a nice little tidbit to add um, But again just more of Endeavor being a douche um, he goes to train Shoto. Shoto can't play with his siblings. Endeavor says, no, you have to train. You have to pass or pass all my, pretty much everything he did with Toya, he's doing to Shoto because he finally created the perfect child. Um, Toya is becoming, um, just rebellious. He just doesn't understand. He's trying to talk to his brother and his sister about it. They're shoving him off because, you know, he's always talking about it. Um, he's going off the train on his own. His mother tries to stop him because uh, Endeavor pretty much said keep your eye on him and don't let him use his quirk. Um, but in Ray's mind, it's like, how much can I really do? There's not much that I can do here. I mean, he's a kid. I mean, you know, you can't expect much from her. You want her to spend keep a close eye on him when she has two other kids to look after while you take her baby and train him to do you know whatever so Toya goes off and just secretly trains and whatnot and him and his mom have little tidbits and he pretty much just goes after her pretty much saying you know you don't care about us um you let him train Shoto the way he trained me you let him treat you like crap um, it, it, it just, it, it just gets bad. He just gets worse and worse, you know. He pretty much also tells her, you know, what do you know? Uh, you know, as she's talking to him, he's like, where'd you learn how to talk like that? Some self-help book. Like, he's just going in on her. And you kind of see where she, why she snapped the way she did. Because, you know, you got Endeavor popping off at her. You got her oldest popping off at her. 
you know, and then with all that going, well, I'm going to stop right there because it's going it, it's going to get to that. Um, but pretty much he, he, he pretty much tells her that, you know, we live in a superhero society. So that's why children are born just so that super, so heroes can continue to, to, to be born and grow. And there's really no purpose for children other than to be heroes. And that is her fault too, because he let it, he lets it known that, you know, your family was poor and that's why I was born because your family needed money and that's how I was born you know to give you money and to grow to be a hero so yeah he 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 kind of went on in on his mom but he found out also that he was a premature kid which which explained his stature you know he was kind of small for a 13 year old for eight year old or whatever and he kind of like he kind of like works with his quirk to see, you know, how it works. And he realizes that his quirk comes from emotion. And when he gets worked up, his flames are stronger, but yet he cries. And in doing this every day and training every day, this is why his flames went from red to blue. So we do know that his flames are originally were originally red. But due to him knowing that the anger he got, the stronger he got, his flames went from red to blue. Um, and then we get other tidbits of, uh, you know, Toya trying to go to Endeavor saying, look what I've learned and, and I just want to show you what I learned. And Endeavor finding out that Toya's been training, but he's been keeping his scars to where he can hide them, Endeavor finds them, and just gets infuriated, and goes and yells at Ray about it, you're supposed to be watching him, Shoto taking for up for his mom, saying, don't you yell at my mom, she's been, you know, she's doing her best, don't bully her, Endeavor saying, get out of here, and whatnot, and then, you know, we, we, we cut back to the hospital room, and they both are feeling guilty that neither one of them went after him, and... And that Endeavor didn't know that he was pretty much throwing fuel to the fire, which he did. He, I, and I, Endeavor, I don't feel sorry for you, man. I, I really don't. I really don't. You, you were a douche this whole time. You were an abusive, manipulative man, and you only wanted, well, two things really: to be the number one hero and to have a child that can be the number one hero. And you're selfish, dude. And and I, I, I can't defend you. Like right when I was feeling sorry for you. You just lost all my respect. But we get we get another uh, panel where we see where Dobby just he was just so hurt that his power just his fire just grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and he couldn't control it anymore. And that's when we see that pretty much he just in a way just burned himself alive, or so we thought. Um, but that just made Endeavor worse. He got worse as a father, as a husband. He 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 towered over Shoto, making just Shoto just making Shoto resent him, making his wife resent him, making his family resent him, making him the biggest douche. He's the he's worse than Goku, if you ask me. That's just me though. But we do find out that all in all. They all come together for for one solution, for one resolution, and 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 they had just they just know they have a common enemy, and that's at this point Toya, and they know they have to stop them, and they know they have to get them, and get them out of here before things get worse. So they do they do point out what I've wanted a family brawl. There's about to be a family battle like with the Shotos, and. Pretty much, Shoto pretty much tells him that I thought I can do it, but I can't. And I think this is Shoto's way of asking his father for help and saying we have to stop Shoto. And that's pretty much how the uh, how the chapter ends. It just ends with the family just knowing what they need to do and and how they need to do it and how fast they they need to get it done. So in ever in endeavor still a douche. Uh, I, it's nice to see Ray back on her feet and 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 you know 
back in her mind uh, because she uh, she really went through a lot with Endeavor and with his aggressiveness and things like that. Looking at him and looking at her children, all she can she just pretty much between her her husband and her kids, she was just looking at the same person, which is why she had so much resentment towards the whole family. But it's good to see that it got better. Shoto finally giving his dad a chance, putting his hand out to his father, saying, pretty much, we need you. Uh, you know, Natsu and I forgot the daughter's name, or I might have it backwards, whatever. They pretty much know, too, yeah, we have to stop our brother. So it's going to be awesome to see where this goes. Um, can't wait for the next chapter. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but again, guys, uh, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, share, um, give us some more ideas of what you want to see out of us. Uh, other than that, Anime Beer signing.